face. President Obama. Now, he got a pretty warm reception for his plan to raise the minimum wage. Listen to this. What happens if workers got a little more money in their pockets? They spend a little more money. Which means that suddenly businesses have more customers, which means they make more profits, which means they can hire more workers, which means you get a virtuous cycle. It's common sense. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. His audience liked it clearly. Our guest says that was divisive. Here is Sabrina Schaefer with the Independent Women's Forum, a division of the... Uh, 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 Sabrina, thanks very much for joining us. Now, okay, you say that the push for a higher minimum wage is divisive. How so? Well, I think the president and the Democratic Party has used class warfare and pitting Americans against one another to help win elections. But this is the worst form of demagoguery, right? I mean, we know... That's pretty strong, Sabrina. Well, it is. I mean, you agree with me, right, that the economy is not a zero-sum game. We want to grow the pie for everyone. And these kind of policies are trying to, you know, sort of rob some people of money to fill the coffers of the government in an inefficient and ineffective way of actually spurring economic growth. Do you think it's going to be successful? I, I, look, I say the president is playing class warfare. He's playing to a friendly audience there, but when he plays on the national stage and everybody looks at what his proposal is, you say, you're telling me you don't think that's going to work? Well, I think that it works in the short term, right? Everybody wants to check that minimum wage box. It's an yeah. easy one, right? right? But there's so many other things we could do. with streamline and modernize yes, the yes, tax yes, but Wait a second. Right? Let's stick with the minimum wage. Okay. He wants to raise it. I'm saying that maybe that is popular, and I think you're agreeing with it. It is popular on both sides of the aisle, but yeah. will, it create, will it create jobs? Probably not, right? And are there better ways that we can of help people? Of, of course Of course. In my opinion, yes. Okay. Things. Now, how about gender division, gender divisiveness? Right. I know that you think that the president is divisive in that area, too. Absolutely. Oh. I mean, this is a president who loves to pit men against women. But I don't know about you. I don't live in a vacuum, right? I have a husband, a father, a brother, a son. What's good for me is what's good for the men in my life as well. We all want more economic growth. We all need job creation. We all need to own and control our health care dollars and want to choose where our kids go to school. These are things that help all of us, not I'm, just men or women. I'm with you all the way. <laughs> but he won the women's vote right. last time around by offering free birth control for all women. Well, let's, let's clarify. He won those unmarried women, right? There were a lot of, a lot of independent women, a lot of uh, weak partisans who really reject the war on women rhetoric, who recognize that expanding the family and medical Leave Act and creating a whole new entitlement pro program would be disastrous for the economy, who realize laws like the Paycheck Fairness Act would actually backfire against women. So I think there are a lot of women who have their heads on straight, and we've got to keep convincing I, more. I, I do understand, <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, in the overall vote, the president won the women's vote. He had a majority right. of women vote for him, regardless of class, regardless of age, marital status. He won the women's vote. He did. The married women still did go for Governor Romney, but you're, you're absolutely correct that the right has a lot of work to do to try to convince women that limited government is the correct way to go. All right, Sabrina, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for All good me. stuff. Thank you. Good. All right. Time is money. We often say it on the.